Hello Crafty Budgeters, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel, we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. Y'all, happy Saturday or happy day, whichever day you are watching this video. I'm really excited because I am doing another weekly check-in to see how we did for the third paycheck of September and we're about to set up our last paycheck of September. Like how is it already the last week of September? The the month felt long and short at the same time. Does anyone else feel the same way? It felt like I went to Niagara Falls a couple months ago. Like it felt like that length of time, but then I also feel like it went really fast with everything else that was going on with me going back into the schools and having like a regular I'm leaving the house going to work moment. So yeah, a lot happened this month and y'all I'm excited because you know what happens at the end of the month. It's the September end of the month extravaganza. Y'all I am about to release five videos in five days starting tomorrow kicking it off with Cash Stuffing Sunday. If this is your first time watching one of my videos if you enjoy any video that relates to budgeting, paying off debt, being intentional about your money, definitely hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. Join the Crafty Budgeter fam. If you also enjoy these types of videos, make sure that you like and comment. I respond back to all of your comments. And y'all, we are about to get into this video, but I wanna put up a picture of this is what the next five days is going to look like for our extravaganza. Here's a picture, y'all, are you ready? I'm hype. So like I said, tomorrow is gonna start our cash stuffing Sunday. Monday is going to be our side income stuffing. You know, I like to share how we did with YouTube, like how we did with our Etsy shop. Then we're going to do a September debt update. Y'all know that those are some of my favorite videos and we had a goal to save at least $2,000 in our debt snowball for this month. Stick around, see how we did, see what our ending numbers are for this month. You know I can't wait. On Thursday, then I'm going to be, no, I'm sorry, Wednesday, I'm going to be doing, based on your recommendations and putting it in the comments, I'm going to be doing my top 10 Dollar Tree finds. I'm so excited about that video. And y'all, even though that these videos that I put on my YouTube channel are about budgeting and paying off debt, I also like to share different parts of who I am. So last week, last week. So last month I did a video of the five steps to start a YouTube channel because I've found that I wanted to share my process and help other people. This month I'm doing it around Dollar Tree finds and really just being cost effective with things that I think uh, you can get other places, but like why not get it for a dollar, which we already know how much I love just dollars because they add up, especially at the Dollar Tree. And then on Thursday, already we are at the end of the third quarter of the year. Like how is this even happening? So we are going to be doing our quarter three savings challenge update, Ta looking at our sinking funds, looking at our emergency funds, looking at our coins and counting all of that up. Y'all, last time I did that video three months ago, y'all came and represented and I can't wait to do and do it this month and to see how we did. So that is all of the announcements for today. Let's get right into this check-in. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I always start off these videos showing you a visual representation of my calendar, tracking my categories. So groceries, eating out, personal, gas, and miscellaneous. And you'll see they're all color coordinated and you can see how we did for the week. The way that I do our weeks are from Friday to Thursday. So we are checking in from Friday the 17th through Thursday, September 23rd. And as you can see, do you see the 19th? The night that Sunday I went hard. I was able to go out by myself, go grocery shopping, get things done. Uh, shout out to my husband for watching my son. It's just nice to be able to like go out by yourself and not having to like lug around a toddler that literally wants to either eat everything that we see at the grocery store or trying to get out of the cart and running around or push his own cart. Like now he likes to push his own cart, which is fine, but it's not fine when he's like running up and down the aisles with the cart. So it was nice that mama got a little bit of time to herself and 
did some things for the house. So that's just a visual representation. And now I'm going to bring you closer because we are now about to check in for, here we go, for this week. Okay, so I've already gone in and put in the starting balances for the third week that we started with for our categories. And now we're gonna see how much we spent and if we have any money left over. What do you think? Do you think I have any red pen this week? We've already, last week had a little bit of red pen for our gas, we went over budget. As you see, I gave myself a little bit more money this this week because yeah, gas is just crazy. And now working out of the house every day, like I don't want you to think I never worked out of the house, but because of the pandemic, I was working from home that whole time. But now it's like, oh, no, nope, we're back in person, which means I need to get gas in my car a lot more because I have a, about a 45 to 50 minute uh, drive commute to work one way. So y'all that adds up. So here we go. So groceries, we budgeted for $125. And yo, we've been doing good on the groceries. So we spent $114.16 and that means we have a hundred, a hundred, definitely not that, $10.84 remaining. Y'all, I also want to tell you, I, I've had to bring back my, 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 my ride or die. This is the Rad a die pen. I love these tool pens. This one's a little bit different compared to my other one that has, I think it's a 0.3 uh, pen point. This one is probably a 0.5. It doesn't say on there, but I stole it from self. I didn't steal it. I took it. I didn't even take it. My friend from work let me, she had a whole kit and a whole set of pens and I was so excited because I love tool pens. I took it from her. Well, she gave me the pen. I don't want you to think that I stole the pen, but Y'all know how much I love pens. Look at that. Did you see how smooth that just writes? Just, just nice and smooth. All right, so personal, personal, we budgeted $15 and we spent the whole $15 because this is what I use for my uh, trip down to work, my organization, I have to get the train. And so this is how much it costs for a round trip ticket to go into work one day a week um, and not go into the schools. So I have $0 remaining for personal. For eating out, y'all, we, we went hard on the eating out. We spent all of the money. All of the money is gone. And I think it's also just because like by the time I get home, after working and getting up early and getting my son together and all this stuff, I'm tired. Your girl is tired. So sometimes I just don't feel like cooking, so we eat out a little bit. It is what it is. For gas, so gas we spent $96.76, and that means we have $3.24, and then for our miscellaneous, miscellaneous, we spent all of it. Spent all the money. Uh, I, what did we do? I needed to order a transcript for um, something, and then what was the other money for? I can't remember, but we spent all the money. So y'all, no red, all black everything. Two snaps for that. <sighs> Don't really have a lot of money left over to roll over to my goals, but that's okay. As long as we didn't go over budget, I am grateful. I am thankful for that. How'd y'all do this week with your budgeting? How'd y'all do this week with your categories? Put it down below. Let me know. Did you meet your goal? Did you go over budget, under budget? Let, let a girl know. So now let's go through and see how we did for the full budget breakdown for last week. So everything stayed the same. The starting balance stayed the same. Everything for our fixed expenses stayed the same. I already went over and added the new balances for our groceries, eating out, gas, personal, miscellaneous, our bills. That got moved over right away. And then we spent all the money on the buffer. I already, you know, it, I've only been in the school for, what, is this my second week? And they're already getting me with the fundraising stuff. The uh, field hockey team is doing a game for uh, breast cancer awareness. My nan, who I've talked about on this channel, had breast cancer, beat breast cancer, and so breast cancer awareness, and very and close family members and friends have had breast cancer, so I know October is breast cancer awareness month, so they're doing a game for that, so I got my shirt to represent. It's pink. I'm really excited for that, and just like random stuff came out for the buffer, so not a lot. 
uh, or we didn't do that well with trying sticking to not touching the buffer, but it is what it is. So that gives us seven hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety two cents. So I take that from the remaining over here and that gives us the six hundred and forty five dollars. Everything stayed the same for the plan section. We just had fourteen dollars that we are rolling over to our buffer. When I say rolling over, it just stays in the checking account as an additional uh, buffer that we use if, again, we have things that come out for our buffer. So that just adds up. And someone was, someone put on the, in the comments about having just like a separate account for your buffer rollover. So I might think about that after it reaches a certain amount. I might need to set a goal. How much do you all save in your buffer? If you have a buffer in your checking account, how much do you always like to just have in there? Let me know and that'll help me because that'll be a goal for mine for next year. So now that we have gone over our how we did last week with our budget, now let's set up our budget for the fourth paycheck in September. <laughs> y'all so here we go we are checking in for this setup y'all I had to use the whiteout as you could probably see as you could probably tell from my like doing it y'all I haven't had to use whiteout in a while I don't know what happened to you girl get it together Brittany so starting balance if this is your first time watching one of my videos I don't share our mortgage don't share our salaries don't share our tithes this is what is after we've taken and accounted for all of those things uh our fixed expenses, daycare, normal $312, AES is $100 because if you remember last week when I had the bills category, we put $329 and the bill is $429 and so I'll take move that money over and pay it off with this $100. Life insurance is $139.19 and then cable is $266.90. So that gives us $818.09. So I've taken that from the income and that gives us $787.58. Then our variable expenses, groceries is getting $100, eating out is getting 50, gas is getting 75, which y'all, it's just crazy that now I have to always just give myself more gas money, just, but it is what it is. Personal is getting $50, miscellaneous is getting 30. Personal miscellaneous gets split between my husband and I. And then uh, nothing to go into bills and our buffer is, we're putting $50 into our buffer, $50.58. So that gives us $355.58. So we've taken that $355.58 from the fixed expense remaining and that gives us $432 that we now can work with to go towards our plan. So for the plan, you know, for our debt snowball, $250 of uh, every paycheck so it gets us to our $1,000 minimum debt snowball. This week we're able to put in an extra $25, so $275 for debt snowball, $50 for emergency fund, and the sinking funds is getting $107. All of that equals $432. We are a zero-based budget family, so every penny and dollar has a place to go. This is the plan that we have for this upcoming week, the last week of September. The goal is that we stick to the plan, but understanding life happens and hopefully we aren't going to have to bring out the red pen. We can have another all black everything week, but if not, we plan accordingly. We use our buffer. We use um, the buffer that's already in the checking account if we go over in any of the categories and that will just help us and have a reflection for when we go towards our breakdown for October budget. Y'all definitely stay tuned. I'm about to release the October printable. It should be out Sunday, crossing fingers. I will let you know tomorrow for the cash stuffing Sunday to make sure. If not, it'll go out Monday, but the crossing fingers, I'll have it ready to go for uh, Sunday so y'all can use that. Y'all, 
Did you enjoy this video? I hope you did. This is always so fun that I can sit down and walk you through my process. Thank you for those that have shared that you want me to go through like a full process of like when the money hits the account, me doing the behind the scenes stuff and getting to this point. So that will be in a video next month. So stay tuned for that. Y'all, you do not want to miss my September end of the month video extravaganza. Here's the picture again. Make sure that you join me tomorrow. We have an awesome lineup of videos that are coming your way. I love doing these with you. It's just a way that I can round out the month, give you updates, and just enjoy our time together. So have a great rest of your day. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute. No, bye-bye. If you want a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. Make sure you like and comment. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.